what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump nemesis thorn inside has tightened his authoritarian grip on the country. He has now banned singing, dancing, and any form of entertainment. True story. Look it up. Here's the deal. For anybody that think this man is playing, he has set a precedent for this already. Back in 2012, when his daddy died, immediately after that, he had told every, he actually ordered that all the citizens mourn. You got to mourn. Cry or die. That was his thing. Yeah, man, you're going to cry or die. You have to show that you're depressed. They had to show that they were depressed. They can't, they couldn't just not sing, dance, play, whatever. They had to actually show that they were depressed for 100 days or else they would be taken off to camps, basically detained. Some were killed, including a high ranking member of his government. government. They hit them with, uh, what do they call those things? They hit them with a, um, they made them stand on a target and they gunned them down. Can you imagine living like that? That would never work in the United States of America. But you know what? I don't know, man. Some of the things that's been going on that we thought would never work here, it's, it's happening. I mean, a lot of our rights are being taken every day. Something new. The government is tightening its authoritarian grip on us. Man, the idea is not that far-fetched. I think it's time for Americans to get real, real serious about protecting what few liberties we do have left. I'm telling you, black people, man, I'm telling you, man, y'all better watch it. Don't think slavery couldn't happen again. Better get on your game. Better start protecting yourself, protect your family. Get your shooting game up, get your gun game up, all of this stuff about Banning guns, man, y'all, do y'all know how absurd, you know, damn absurd, you know how fucking stupid that sounds? Banning guns in America? Who gonna have the guns if you ban guns? You trust the cops to be the only ones to have guns in America. Man, y'all better get off of that. And y'all better get off of being comfortable with felons not being able to purchase guns. Because there's a whole lot of felons out there who have felonies for nonviolent crimes. They're not the boogeyman. They're not the ones you got to watch out for. You can stop falling for this okie doke, man. In fact, most of the felons, most of the people that's getting locked up, of course, because they are targeting to lock them up. A lot of them look like you. You want to be armed if it go down, or you want to be unarmed. Y'all better kill that, that gun control talk. I ain't got too many things that I agree with, or, I, or that I agree on with conservatives. But I agree with that, man. Kill that gun control talk. You got to fight for your right to party. That's what I say for the Korean people. 
It's more Korean citizens than members of the military, just like it's more black people in America than police officers. Man, if everybody said, man, we ain't having it no more, man, we wouldn't be having it no more. But everybody got to buy into it, or at least most people got to buy into it. Whoever ain't buying into it, got to be dealt with severely. Got to be willing to take them all the way out. Sounds radical, huh? Well, freedom got a shotgun, man. Freedom is radical. <laughs> Nobody's just going to give you freedom. <laughs> no. Nobody's going to hand you over power. You want that power? You got to take it. I'm not going to just give it to you. Old Kimmy boy want to ban drinking for his people. But I bet you he hasn't stopped drinking that expensive wine. That's how they do. Do as I say, not as I do. I can do it. You can't. Does that sound like somebody familiar to you? The more you tighten your grip, the more sand slips through your hands. Keep giving your people a reason to rebel, Kim. And you're going to find yourself in your enemy's shoes. Donald Trump. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?